What's going on YouTube? Bromance here. Welcome back to more Vampire Walkthrough I'm doing. Uh, sorry about that last video, it was a bit long. <laughs> I was just trying to look for ways to level my character up because I generally didn't think my character was strong to be a, a thing like that fight. Because I died so many times. Well, obviously, well, I haven't shown that in the video, but I died so many times trying to fight that thing. So then I was just looking around, trying to find ways to get stronger, but I've done it in the end, so I got through it. I'm back here. See, in the last video, I covered a lot of the explanation of the hospital. Whoa, is it? He's up to something. There has to be a way to f see what he's doing. It's locked, all right. Ah. I'm just going to talk to Dr. Like Swansea, you just up here. Ah, through there. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, What's you want? Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. I'm a dead man. I was murdered. Now I'm a murderer. Tell me how this is a gift. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please. Go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Okay. He's dodgy, I decided that dots are his, man. Some of them.
What was that is in Doctor Gun? Huh. Where is he? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. <laughs> an interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear or at least have a respect for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main walk was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. My alarm's going off. <laughs> Many, one of my many alarms. Why close the <laughs> hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. <laughs> yeah, about that. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember. And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> what kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Uh, hop back in on a minute. Have you heard of someone blackmailing people in the hospital? Pardon me, sir, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Mm. 
Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Let's buy that for the fun of it. Part one of each. I'd like to know what he's getting up to in there, Is that a way around this way? Hope so. Yeah, through here. Comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. She vampire too or something. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, she's a vampire woman, isn't she? You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vampire. The lady who saved me that night. Yep. Before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Pardon my boldness, Your Ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Oh! Have any of the patients given you trouble? 
I can't even know what I'm doing with poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. Shame, gentlemen. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. If we're dealing with an She's a vampire, so surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean mm -hmm. toward a patient or their family. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My Empire. embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. All right. Is our little mystery closer to being solved, Dr. Reed? I think of nothing else, my lady. My situation is delicate, and it occupies all my thoughts. The blackmail must stop. I need assurance. Talk to Javier. What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. 
<laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was it a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Oh, my language. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Give me a second, guys. Now I get a coffee or something. But the suffering continues. I've got to find Nurse Pippa Hawkins. I'm going to speak to all the nurses. No, there's Brannigan. Let's do that one first. She's only just here anyway, isn't she? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Okay. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippetts does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Skip, look at me. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Oh, this is just where it is. Um. Unknown. Oh yes, yeah, that lady over there. Now.
Was sieht der denn? Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. We're here to save lives. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. You've nothing to prove, Dr. Tippett, to anybody. Alright, oh, thank you. Oh, I can't do this, I don't know. I am perfectly fine, and I am not too old for this job. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Oh, I stopped from doing that thing. Um, where the hell was the nurse? Ah, oh, there's Hawkins. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Oh, give me that guy, it's sort of washed out. Right. Where was I? Yeah. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with our old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps the old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if the nurse finds some happiness where she can? Hmm. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Where's Crane then? Where is she? It's locked, all right. All the way up to in there. What are they up to in there a second ago? Oh, he's up to something again. Oh, 
What the hell is Nas no, crying? You don't mind if I search your pockets? Do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir, and I thank you for your generous donation. <laughs> You're being caught out red handed. I don't know where the hell is Nurse Doc Train. <laughs> Sure she is. Hey, Doc. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the hospital? Blackmail? That's not my style. Too risky. The black market, though. Now that's where the money is. Hey, Doc. Okay. Oh. So no, I'm full of blood though, that's every house. It was a dodgy man. Anyway, I don't really trust him. It was Ebo. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. 
We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, c I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. We've taken care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. What can you tell me about your friend? Oh His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Where's Crane? Fuck him. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. So when I couldn't find an Oswald, I guess it might have been her. What's gonna happen now? I killed that one guy. Probably shouldn't have killed him, really. Come on down here. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Oh, 
Oh shit! I don't know what's got me. I'm half a dinner right now, I'll take out of an hour. hour. Level 8. Fuck me! Awkward gap to fight someone, innit? Shit! Jeez. It's feeding him. Nah, oh, he's looking his way over there, so I can't exactly stun him and feed him. Shit, he's got it. Bit me. Fuck. Probably just feeding this guy anyway. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here! I need to get out! I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out! Oh. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Headache, oh, it's fine. I, mean, I, sure I could kill him, but. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be. As soon as I can see the sky again. That's a cheaper fucking resource. I mean, I could probably sh shoot him up for his blood, but no. I Uh, 
Whoa. Me, you sorry about that. Oh, what sort of creature is this? It's a werewolf. I think that's a whale. What we hear is hard though. Stamina, come on. Because I'm dying at some point. Yeah. I knew I was going to die anyway, so. I guess it's a werewolf. Just guessing. I'm a sewer beast. It looks a lot like a werewolf to me. Just hits hard, anything is just. What you have to do with this one, really, I think, is just double tap and invade. Just don't let him hit you. I'll probably get through this one quite quick. The boss, the boss didn't, I thought, uh, in the second video was much harder. What sort of creature is this? Oh, I'm a blood, I'm low on blood. Shit. I was formed on. Let's give me that. So I was doing off a of formed blood before I came down. Let's give me that checkpoint. Oh, I've pretty much got defeated this fucking thing of my powers. Not me, sideways. Yeah, I pretty much got to defeat him with no. I had. Before I came down, I had enough full blood. Which I was able to use to go against him. And I took that blood off me because I died. Okay, I would have thought it'd give me blood back a bit. 
means that they die against this boss. Copy XP though. What sort of creature is this? Fuck me. I mean, look at one bite and it's got pretty much gone down in half. Oh, fuck me, that lunge on that guy, bro. I don't know why I'm dying. It's not even a hard boss to kill. It just hits, it just hits hard. Come on, let's get this done. Let's get this done then. Start by sneaking up in this little, little four scale. Kill. believe I'm doing this. I have this first, first the blood. blood. Right. I must watch my stamina. What was that in there? I didn't even notice that was there. Must watch my stamina. What sort of creature is this? Oh, come on, he's already hit me. Look how much health goes down already. Move, move, move before he hits me. He's gonna hit me, he's gonna hit me, he's gonna hit me. Move. Fucking stamina's doing my nothing now. Fuck. Fucking alarm, trying to fight a werewolf. Fuck off. <laughs> no, 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 you're not feeding on me. No, 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 you're not feeding on me because I'll put your health right to the max then. Come on, man. I'm trying to evade, but it wouldn't let me. No, you're not being on me. Oh. I 
Let's get to the thingy to him. My serums. <laughs> no, you're not feeling make up with your health back at max. Oh, come on, mate. He was actually no name event. <laughs> Fuck me at lunch. It's going up a little bit. Oh, come on, that lunge, bro! This thing's got a nasty lunge on him. No, you're not feeling on, mate. He's getting angry now. Now yeah, make a little angry. Shit. Must use my serum. Bugger it. It's hitting faster now, I can feed it, man. Come on, stamina, get up, man. Come on, before he hits me. Come on, stamina. For fuck's sake. Can't do much until my stamina's up, so. I've actually broke my serums and all my blood, they're getting missed for. It's a fucking stamina what's doing it man, it's getting me gilded, like... 
One more hit and I am dead. Come on, stamina. Get up because I am dead if he hits me. Fuck sake, this stamina is actually starting to annoy me. I don't know how come my health so low, I can't really hear clearly. No, you're not freedom because you feed them and your health is nipping. You're gonna be too I won't have to beat you then. Hits and he's gone. Be smart, Adam. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart. Be smart. Come on, stamina. Don't get me killed now. Oh, for fuck's sake, stamina. Oh, you bastard. That's the closest I've got now in the past half an hour trying to kill this thing. It is a stamina getting me killed every single time. Jeez, man. That was so close. I, mean, I did well then, didn't I? I did well. Really must watch your stamina and fight in this thing. We need blood to beat this thing. What sort of creature is this? Not feeding him, mate. No, no, not feeding on me. No, not open. How goes to fucking max then? But you feed on me. Yeah, don't let him feed him because how goes up a lot when he feeds on you. Too risky because the stamina got me almost got me fucking killed. A bit too risky doing that then. Never put in more than one or two hits. A second if you can, but never put more than that in. 
Otherwise he will get you. Because your stamina will just... Get a third one in fair enough, do it, but don't try to get a third one in every time. Well, I've got the third one in then, but my stamina was flat and completely gone. Oh no no no. I've tried too much then. Too risky. I can't afford to make a few mistakes. Got blood I haven't used yet. Fuck man, I can't help but you took me then. He's angry. Oh shit, come on stamina. Fuck my life. No, you're not feeling on me, boy. I'll get one in. No, you're not feeding on me, boy. I got him. <sighs> Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Just. You are sick if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petra's house. Petres Petresco's house, sorry. And present this coupon. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Well, What was he, a werewolf? Let's have a look. Yeah, he's definitely a werewolf. Yeah, what do you, what do you think, guys? Werewolf? Yeah, it's a kind of werewolf. Gotta be a thing. What do you guys think? Oh, what's that there? Alright, oh, I need to get some health up. I have this thirst for my blood. 
This is despicable. I mean, that guy took me fucking a while to beat, like a half an hour maybe, for, for 45 minutes. Which I'm not on the show all the time, I, I killed him, but to beat him, you must watch your stamina. Never put in more than two hits unless you can. Be careful when risking to hit him, because he will get you. Right. I think almost got me then. Oh, there's a level six skull down there. Let's feed him and kill him real quick. Hello. Come on, come on. Just beat, just beat the whale thing, I can't die to this thing. Come on, I can't die like that now. <sighs> I just had to beat the whale thing. I can't die like that to a Oh! Sh Where did he come from? Jeez. Honestly, where the hell did he come from? <laughs> okay. Whoever that fuck was. You got mauled to death by that belief. Werewolf. Oh. Oh, the f. Okay. I'm just gonna get out of it, I think. Kill the rats real quick. This ain't, this ain't got to fight the werewolf again. That's one thing I can say. Oh, blood. It's probably more, gonna be more werewolves, but I can't be anyone. This I can't fight. believe I'm doing this. Oh, let's go straight forward this time. There must be a way to do a small sort of upgrade of a stamina. I'm actually going to go to bed with this character now. Well, that, sounds, that sounds completely wrong, I'm saying that. I'm actually going to put him to rest so he can evolve. I should have said that. I said it completely wrong how I said that. Because there has to be some sort of way I can make my stamina better. Like, it doesn't use so much. What's a royal skull? What's he down here for? Let's feed him more quick. And then get him. Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. I'm, now I'm just getting rid of this bad luck now. What the fuck? One hit misses and then all of a sudden I'm, I'm getting wrecked by a fucking level 6 scout. Or 5, I should say. Jeez, man. But one hit missed on him, so I almost died. Oh, I'm back here. Let's evolve. Yes, who's called Companion? I saw it ringing that, that was a bit long. Alright.
at the skills or something. Like oh, okay. Now that I need to do. Picture love generation when using bite in combat. Yeah. Right, got it. Let's do one more on that. Ha, I can't. Level 8 required. Oh, okay. Level 7. Well, I've got that one done anyway. What's this? No, I don't need that. Oh, okay. Increase your stamina, increase your health. So use the last bit of XP on these. Right now. Number nine. Okay, that's half a standard up. Following night, okay. Every night, the consequence of your actions may improve or decay. I'll just direct. Oh, okay, let's start again. Right. Every night, the consequence of your actions may improve or degrade the district, district health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading among citizens. The more lives you take, the unhealthier the district becomes. If the district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. So you decide this district's fate. Someone's died. Oh yeah, I killed him tonight. Yeah, that's right. Not like I had any family anyway, so... <laughs> Alpha Salmon's right up a little bit, yay. I could have done that before the fight in the world, but... Alright, I'm done anyway. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Like and subscribe below. And don't forget to hit the location bell. When you fight in that werewolf thing, you must watch your stamina at all cost. Never push more than two hits in. Keep an eye on your stamina at all times. If he hits you, your health is going to go rapid. Anyway, take, take care guys, peace out.